What's up, guys? So, if y'all follow me on Twitter, you know that I've been posting about this Yale in town hand crank key machine. And uh, it was in a box. Well, the base of it was separate, and the box had all the pieces in there. There's an adjustment here for adjusting it, and it's actually several um, kind of weird pieces. This little screw do dad on top holds the wheel on now I'm, I'm missing the handle for this if you pull the handle off you can see there's a little v type guide that intersects with a little thing down in there see it barely see it there and uh, if i unscrew the wheel that goes in this way you push the shaft through and then screw the nut down and then attach this and then tighten this top screw down to hold the wheel in and again i don't have a handle it would go here and stick out presumably so that it's not as hard to cut keys because you're spinning here i've been having to do this because i don't have a handle and uh, i can probably rig one up but very fascinating machine we can look at it and it says um makers what does that say makers the yale in town manufacturing company stamford connecticut usa patented september 17th or september 7th 1907 so it is definitely an old fella patented on means it could have been made whenever i'm going to just a picture right here or over here over my face i don't know somewhere of the patent that night owl just tweeted to me so that y'all can look at it and uh yes i have it all adjusted and uh this will be the third key i've cut on it so i'm pretty worn out <laughs> and uh, his patent says you can copy a key and like two minutes maybe with the handle maybe it would have been easier but let's get started making a key on a yale and town manufacturing hand crank key machine this will be the, actually the third key i've done i had problems with the blank sitting in the machine this way they cock over I'm not sure what's going on there and uh, this indexing guide here drops down to shoulder stop the key so we put our blank one there and we get our original key here which goes to this lock even though this plug is not for this housing it still has all the pins in here just keyed it up to this key so I'm going to, on my third attempt here, uh, both first and second, the first one took forever. The second one took a little less than forever. And now we're gonna try it with the keys facing how the patent shows. Even though I tried this earlier and the key kept flopping over. So let's give it a shot. So again, since I'm redoing this video, we are going to, line up the keys and basically like i have already mentioned before if you had space and depth keys you could do this pretty easily uh, you could code cut a key pretty easily but basically you just move this down until the v guide your adjustment is right here a little screw that tightens in and out i've already adjusted it this has flex in it so when you unscrew this it gives it more flex unless it cut deeper i adjusted it by putting two blank keys in and pressing it down until it was just touching and i don't have this machine mounted it would be much easier to do if i had a stable stable surface for it but you just drop it down in the first cut 
press down on top of it and start turning. Now, this is way harder to do without it actually being mounted and with a without the handle. But basically, putting pressure on top, pushing down as hard as I can. Oops. Let's, uh, let's flip this around. Okay, there we go. Okay, so where were we? We're still on the first cut here. Push down. And I'm assuming you spin it until you can't hear it cut anymore. Now the patent that Night Owl just sent me on Twitter says it takes about two minutes to make a key, but I found it takes a little bit longer than that, probably because I don't have a handle and because it's not mounted. I'm assuming with the handle I'd have more, I could turn it faster. Especially if you had deep cuts like this one is. Let's take a look at it. There we go. I'm, a, I'm really worn out because this is the third one I've done. Still got a ways to go for our number two cut here. Goodness, there's only one deep cut in there. Okay, that's that's gotta be close enough. Okay, next, let me go ahead and take care of that one. Cutting this dang key.
go back to cut number four here. So there's our finished key. Whew. I'm all worn out. And uh, I normally just brush it off. Probably back then with a hand brush for sure. Um, but let's give it a go, see what happens. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's look at the, let's look inside. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Needs a little brushing, obviously. But, pretty dang, <laughs> pretty dang accurate, huh? Give me the key. So there we have it. Yale and Town Manufacturing Key Machine. <sighs> Glad I don't have to do that often. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comment section. We'll catch y'all next video.